the cost of taxation a tax on a good reduces the welfare of the buyers and sellers this welfare loss usually exceeds the revenue the tax rises for the government the fall in the total surplus the total surplus is the sum of consumer surplus producer surplus and the tax revenue the tax revenue is the product of the tax and the quantity is called the dead weight loss dwl the for the total fall in total surplus is the dead weight loss dwl of the tax a tax has a dwl because it causes consumers to buy less and producers to sell less thus shrinking the market below the level the maximum that maximizes the total surplus as discussed in the earlier chapters the maximum total surplus attains efficiency so due to the shrinking the market below the level of maximum total surplus the efficiency is not attained the price elasticity of demand and supply measures how much buyers and sellers respond to price changes therefore higher the elasticity implies higher the dead weight loss an increase in the size of a tax causes the dead weight loss to rise even more than the rise in tax an increase in the size of a tax causes revenue to rise at first but eventually revenue falls because the tax reduces the size of the market let's discuss it more briefly the dead weight loss and the size of the tax are plotted in a graph when a tax increases dead weight loss rises even more when tax rates are low rising them does not cause much harm and lowering them does not bring much benefit when tax rates are high rising them is very harmful and cutting them is very very beneficial to the society revenue and the size of the tax the laffer curve shows the relationship between the size of the of the tax and the tax revenue as observed here the tax revenue keep on increases and reaches a maximum with rise in tax size further if we increase the tax size the tax revenue keep on decreases thank you